They say that just because you can, it doesn't mean you should. Yay, today we got another situation on CERN. Joe Rogan on something evil just happened at CERN that no one can explain. You are in for a ride. You asked for a CERN video, we got a CERN video here for you folks. Like this video, share this video, and wait for it. Uh, I gotta talk about the dimension thing as well. Gluon plasma? That's bad. That's bad for physics. For the cosmic microwave background, the leftover radiation from the Big Bang. But you would like something um, more that you could bring to people, saying that this is very val valuable and tangible stuff. And we had very good reason to hope that we could detect it by now in an underground laboratory. But we didn't? Uh-oh. And they're apparently making a new one, too. The European Centre right? for Particle Research, CERN, is unveiling details of a new particle accelerator today, something three times larger and twice as deep. Joe Rogan has recently revealed something terrifying that has been found at CERN that scientists cannot explain. Deep beneath Geneva, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN operates quietly, exploring the fundamentals Wait, of our universe. But recently, something unexpected happened at CERN raising questions even the experts struggle to answer. What could this discovery mean for our understanding of the universe? How but I wonder if they are concerned about it or not, because I certainly, a lot of people are concerned. Just because you can, doesn't mean you should. But guys, there's bigger fish to fry in just a second here. How is the Mandela effect related to this? Join us as we go into the details of this recent event at CERN that has sparked both curiosity and concern worldwide. <laughs> it has yeah. discovered three new particles which could help us learn how our universe was born and what its future looks like. Okay, three. At the heart of CERN's groundbreaking work is a mission to recreate the conditions of the universe mere moments after the Big Bang. How do they aim to achieve such a feat? Through the Large Hadron Collider, a giant machine that accelerates particles to near light speeds before smashing them together. This process creates conditions similar to those that existed just after the Big Bang, allowing scientists to study the building blocks of our universe in ways never before possible. However, something has been found out about these experiments that no one can explain. But oh. what has been discovered and why is the entire scientific world in shock about it? The story of CERN and the Large Hadron Collider is a fascinating journey through time. Located on the outskirts of Geneva, CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, was established in 1954 with a vision to explore the fundamental Crazy. secrets of the universe. This collaborative effort, born out of need after World War II, was aimed at using science for peace, bringing together nations. Mm, the biggest lie ever, right? And here we are in 2024, and peace is the biggest uh, problem right now. We cannot just uh, find a way to have peace, right? That That's crazy. And we recently done a video on it. I'll Don't worry, we'll get down to it. First of all, welcome on in if you're new. Welcome back if you're an OG. But we recently, this is the second video that we're doing. I will link to the first video in just a little bit because there was a doctor that came forward uh, and, and said that they have found evidence of different beings coming out because they have succeeded in opening different dimensions as well well I'll, I'll link you that video towards the end if you stick around uh and i want to i want to talk more about that in a second as well and scientists in a quest for understanding the universe the organization started with 12 founding member states and has since expanded welcoming countries from around the globe to participate in its groundbreaking research this spirit of international cooperation has been the cornerstone of cern's success fostering an environment where the brightest minds work together, transcending borders and political differences. The Collider's construction was an international endeavor, involving thousands of scientists, engineers, and technicians from all over the world. Yeah, with all that plastic here, bro, like... <laughs> and they think me using a plastic bag is really destroying the planet. <laughs> Obviously, just joking around, but, but you know what I mean, right? Like It was a like, feat on, of man. scientific ambition and logistical and technical prowess, requiring advancements in superconducting magnet technology, vacuum engineering, and computing. The construction of the Large Hadron Collider, a project that began in the late 20th century and came to fruition in the early 21st, marked a pivotal chapter in CERN's history. Uh -oh. The Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest, largest. and most most powerful particle accelerator is a marvel of engineering and physics, stretching 27 kilometers in circumference and located 100 meters underground. It is a ring. Yeah, so nobody can go down there, right, and see what's truly going on underground. But now, 
honestly on its alone this is a massive feat for humanity absolutely this is just insane uh the engineering here absolutely insane and i'm all for exploration and trying out things but there are certain things that you should not okay there are certain things that you should leave alone you should not be going after opening of different dimensions because you do not know what's going to come out of it you do not play god okay let god play god because he's good at it you do not play god uh but in the end i guess like whatever happens god got this so we don't even have to worry about it but still like come on now bro of super uh, obviously like if any atheist watch and i welcome you and you're gonna be like oh bro like come on man stop with that nonsense uh fair fair uh you can definitely uh, put in your perspective i i, I want to definitely get perspectives from religious people and i want to get perspectives from atheists as well because this way we can have like a good discussion and uh because like Everybody's gonna bring like a good point, I feel like, right? And we can find like a middle ground and uh, share ideas, this and that, and and talk about this, cause uh, everybody concerned and baffled about it. Hashtag baffle gang. Conducting magnets and accelerating structures that propel particles to near light speeds before colliding them. These high energy collisions recreate conditions similar to those just after the Big Bang, allowing scientists to investigate particles and forces at play in the early universe. Mm -hmm. The significance of creating this mini Big Bang is huge. By observing the particles produced in these high speed collisions, scientists can uncover clues about how the universe came to be. But why go to such lengths to understand the universe's origins. This knowledge yeah. has the potential to answer fundamental questions about the nature of matter, energy, and the forces that govern. The yeah, it has the potential, but what about like the other side? What about the negatives, right? Like uh, what if something goes wrong? You know, because something always goes wrong, right? What about that? And Big Ben and all that is a theory. Obviously we believe that's what happened, but truly like nobody knows the origin of the of the the universe. We think we know and maybe it's true. Okay? We we believe it obviously because that's what we're told and uh probably maybe it's true i'm gonna use the word probably but i'm kind of hesitating as you can tell but it's like that's what we're told sure we think that's what happened but truly no one was there to witness it uh right so like we think and now we are developing this because we think that's what happened and now we need like a, another confirmation and we now need to know what's beyond that i i love exploration i love the idea of like chasing the truth absolutely but you also want to you know think about this way just because you can it doesn't mean you should uh right because you you never know what's on the other side too guys like the universe by peering into the past cern's work helps us understand the universe's fundamental laws potentially paving the way for new technologies and innovations that could transform our future in 2012 scientists at cern made a groundbreaking discovery that would change our understanding of the universe the Higgs boson. This elusive particle, often referred to as the God particle, plays a yeah. crucial role in the standard model of particle physics. It's responsible for giving mass to elementary particles, the tiny building blocks that make up everything in the universe. But what does that really mean? Imagine the universe as a vast ocean, and particles are like ships sailing through it. The Higgs boson is similar to the water in this ocean, creating a kind of resistance that gives particles their mass. Without the Higgs boson, particles would zip through the universe at the speed of light, weightless, and unable to form the atoms and molecules that make up stars, planets, and even life itself. The discovery of the Higgs boson was a monumental achievement for CERN and the entire scientific community. Any scientists watching this video? Uh, any, uh... You never know, right? Like, I'm thinking in my mind, probably not, but you never know, right? Like, maybe, uh one of one of you is a scientist and if you are I, I think it would be very very uh amazing uh to get your perspective on this because surely like somebody like me is gonna have a different perspective somebody in the field is gonna have a completely different take uh as well i i, I want to get like people that that understand this topic uh feedback and not necessarily feedback but their perspective and what they think on this as well because this has definitely concerned people for a while and a lot of people are like and they think me using a plastic bag is destroying the planet i hear you i get where you're coming from but like damn homie it confirmed the existence of the higgs field an invisible energy field present throughout the universe this field interacts with particles slowing them down and providing them with mass uh -oh, the Higgs boson good. is a particle associated with this field.
much like a wave is associated with the ocean. The implications of this discovery are huge. It solidifies our understanding of how the universe works at a fundamental level and opens the door to new mysteries. For instance, the Higgs boson's mass is lighter than theoretical predictions suggested, leading scientists to ponder the existence of new physics beyond the standard model. Standard model? This discrepancy, known as the hierarchy problem, suggests that there might be undiscovered principles or particles that could explain why the Higgs boson is lighter than expected. Moreover, the Higgs boson could offer clues about the universe's very early moments, shedding light on how particles acquired mass after the Big Bang. Mm. This knowledge could lead to a deeper understanding of the universe's evolution and the forces that have shaped it. The discovery oh. of the Higgs boson is a key that unlocks further mysteries of the universe. As okay. scientists continue to study this particle and its interactions, however, some recent secrets have come to light that have shocked everyone. This is where the concept of dark matter comes into play. Dark matter is one of the universe's greatest mysteries. Despite making up about 85% of the universe's mass, it doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it completely invisible and detectable only through its gravitational effects on visible matter. This elusive substance plays a crucial role in the universe, influencing the structure of galaxies and the universe's overall structure. So. Where does CERN come into the picture? Through the Large Hadron Collider, CERN is on a quest to understand dark, dark matter's matter. secrets. The Large Hadron Collider, known for colliding particles... Nah, nah. Do you really think they are gonna only do what they're telling you that they're doing? You, you know what I mean, right? They're probably doing some more than that. There, There's probably, like, documents uh, on it that are buried deep underground metaphorically speaking i mean literally quite literally it's deep down underground but like they're not gonna tell you everything that they're doing and understandably they're and some of it is probably gonna get revealed based on the results they get whether these are positive results then they might tell what they found but they're not gonna tell you everything though like let's be real uh and there's like a doctor that came out i will link you that video in in, in a bit like towards the end of it we saw that video and like uh, there have been uh conspiracy a lot of conspiratorial stuff whether that's true or not that's for a different that's a different debate but it's like people are coming out and saying that they were successful in opening different dimensions and uh, other dimensional beings are coming out of it and it's like uh shit's getting real nobody knows whether that's true or not this is some words and just uh things that testimonies that we're hearing right now whether these are real or not different topic right i mean either you will believe it or you're not it's good to think about it and it's good to get your conspiracy brain light up at night especially it's it's very fascinating to talk about this crap but it's like uh even if that's true or not it's like more chances are that you're not gonna ever find out because they only know the truth but you do not not i do not you do not we do not calls at incredibly high speeds creates conditions that mimic the early universe moments after the big bang by analyzing the particles and forces generated in these collisions scientists hope to find evidence of dark matter particles oh good luck the challenge with dark matter is its silent nature it doesn't interact with electromagnetic forces, meaning it doesn't produce light or radiation that we can easily detect. However, if dark matter particles exist, they might occasionally interact with other particles in ways that the collider can observe. For instance, missing energy or momentum in the aftermath of particle collisions could hint at dark matter particles being produced and escaping detection as they don't interact with the collider's sensors. Mm. CERN's experiments are piecing together clues from particle collisions to be what about the god particle like i i heard a lot about it like uh, early on uh not in this video but when i say early on i mean like years and years ago like we heard a lot about the god particle uh, I, I think that's the thing of the past they're on to something else right now and it's, it happens to be this but it's like i, I want to know more about that build thing. a picture of dark matter while direct detection remains elusive the Collider's ability to probe the fundamental particles and forces of the universe gives scientists a unique tool to understand what dark matter could be made of and how it influences the world. However, CERN's quest to uncover dark matter is fraught with danger by shedding yeah. light on dark matter. Because ma there are certain things that you do not need to know. There are certain things you just don't mess around with, man. Certain things certain certain things are better just left alone, man. Matter 
Could CERN be opening a door into something dark that will potentially be dangerous to our world? One accident shows how dangerous this could be. This is where the tale of Anatoly Bugorsky stands as a reminder of the immense power and potential dangers associated with particle accelerators. Bugorsky, a Russian physicist, experienced something almost unimaginable. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protvino, Russia, he accidentally exposed his head to a proton beam in 1978. The incident occurred when Bugorsky was checking a malfunctioning piece of equipment. Unbeknownst to him, the safety mechanisms had failed, and as he leaned in, a proton beam shot straight through his head. Dang. Remarkably, he reported seeing a flash brighter than a thousand suns, but felt no pain at the moment of the accident. The he beam thought? entered the back of his head and exited near his nose, Holy leaving a path crap. of destruction in its wake. The areas of his face and head that the beam touched swelled up, and over the next few days... Appreciate you subscribing. I, I mean, yeah, it, 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 play stupid games, win stupid uh, prizes. ...is the skin at the beam's entry and exit points peeled off, revealing the path the beam had burned through parts of his brain. Oh, man. Despite the severity of the incident, Bogorsky survived. Oh, he point. continued to work in science, completing his PhD after the accident. However, the long-term effects were significant. He lost hearing in his left ear, where the beam had entered, and the left side of his face remained paralyzed. Oh. Over time, he experienced seizures and occasional complex partial seizures. The Bogorsky incident is an example of the power behind particle accelerators. Yeah. While designed for scientific exploration, to unlock the secrets of the universe, they are machines of immense energy and potential hazard. Bugors you, you know what, like, I'm all up for exploration and I'm all up for the truth, but it's like, for example, right, like, you, you are told the truth, then what? What if the truth is, like, really incomprehensible? What if the truth is, like, you cannot make sense of it? What if it's, like, really to the point where it's, like... You, you cannot go to sleep at night when you know about it. And, and this is a big topic and this is one of the big factor. You know, whenever you talk about like, why is the government uh, not telling us about the aliens and the UFO? It's because you cannot handle the truth. You cannot, you know, they always bring up this argument. I, okay, fair. And they always say like, the, the truth is very, very deep. And it's like, if you were told the truth, you're not gonna be able to sleep at night. What if it's, this is also like that. Uh, and, and there are surely consequences, and there's uh, there's a there's definitely a reason. Like uh, you know, if there is God, I, I'm a believer. Some of you are as well. Some of you are not fair. But it's like, what if you were told uh, the 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 day you're gonna pass away, right? The day the the day of death. Like, what if you were just because just like you have a uh, date of birth, you also know about your death date. If you were told that, you would go crazy, right? Like people would go crazy on the last days. People would never leave their home, right? If they were told that you were gonna die tomorrow, you would never leave your house, right? If you were told how you're gonna die, you would never get to that point. For example, if you were told that you're gonna die in a car crash, you would never drive car, right? So there are certain things that are just better better off not finding out about. There are certain things that are just better off not knowing. You just don't want to know, right? And it's beautiful that way. Because if everybody was told their death uh it's like nobody would ever work nobody would be like okay yeah, whatever i'm gonna pass on that day i'm gonna chill i'm not gonna do anything right and then nobody does uh, does everything and it's like chaos everywhere people would steal people would do all kinds of we, we can talk about it for days and days and, and and this just goes very very deep right so there are just certain things that you shouldn't you don't need to know and i think it's one of them Thoughts? Agree? Disagree? Bogorsky's accident, although unique and extraordinarily rare, highlights the importance of strict safety measures in the operation of such complex scientific equipment. This concern about CERN's experiments is also extended towards what they could potentially uncover. One of the most intriguing aspects of CERN's research involves exploring the theoretical possibility of parallel dimensions. Mm, this concept, yeah. which sounds like it's straight out of a science fiction novel, is a serious area of study in theoretical physics. Well, the that. idea is that our universe might be just one of many in a vast multiverse, yeah. each with its own laws of physics. Yeah. So, how could CERN's experiments potentially reveal these hidden dimensions? It all ties back to the Large Hadron Collider and its high-energy particle collisions. These extreme conditions might be just right for revealing signs of dimensions beyond our familiar three-dimensional space. 
Theoretical physicists have proposed that if extra dimensions exist, they could influence the behavior of particles in ways that we can detect. For example, some particles produced in the collider collisions might disappear into these other dimensions, which would leave behind a distinct energy signature. Similarly, gravity, which is weaker than other fundamental forces, might be leaking into these extra dimensions, which could explain why it's so weak compared to forces like electromagnetism. The potential to discover parallel dimensions could fundamentally change our understanding of the universe. If multiple dimensions are confirmed, it would support the string theory, which says that particles are rather tiny strings vibrating at different frequencies. These strings could stretch into other dimensions, connecting our universe with others in the multiverse. Mm. Moreover, man, it sounded like Marvel <laughs> MCU in real life. Uh, and surely Marvel is inspired off of like uh, the conspiracies, the real world conspiracies and the theories. And uh, not every conspiracy is just a conspiracy. Uh, you know, there's a saying that today's conspiracy is tomorrow's truth. Ever heard of that? I mean, that's a crazy thought. What if, like, parallel universe exists? What if, like, there's an actual you in physical form on a physical world that's not this Earth, but, like, different one, similar to this, and, and you exist there? Uh, whatever, for example, like, I'm making this video right now. What if in a different universe, I'm not making this video, I'm di making a different uh, different video. What if, like, in this universe, I just picked up my Canadian version of... Bruh. You, you know what I'm saying? What if in the other universe, I had a real one? You know what I'm saying? What? That was the kiss. It's uh, absolutely it is crazy uh, to think about that crap, you know? Uncovering parallel dimensions could provide answers to some of physics' biggest mysteries, such as the nature of dark matter and the fundamental forces that govern the universe. If dark matter interacts more strongly with forces in other dimensions, it could explain why it's so difficult to detect using conventional methods. CERN's theories of the possibility of parallel dimensions is not a speculative endeavor. The Mandela effect? It's a journey to answer serious uh -oh. questions about the nature of reality. While the concept of a multiverse might seem like the stuff of fantasy, the science behind it is very real, grounded in mathematical theories and Especially with like, when you combine parallel universe with Mandela effect, it's like, it, this, uh makes sense it it begins to make sense when you connect both of these together because a lot of people believe that uh mandela effect is simply what you think happened but it's but it didn't happen in your mind you're like but but i saw it you know that's what happened man i really did drink water but it, they, they tell you now nah, you didn't drink water you drink something else then you know it's like it, it the mandela effect basically is like people a lot of people thought that nelson mandela passed away but then people heard of his passing and people were like, we thought he passed away in jail years and years ago. But in actuality, he passed away when he was outside of prison, uh, I believe in 2013. But people thought he passed away like all the way back then uh, when he was in prison. Uh, I don't remember the actual year, but, you know, so that's when uh, this theory, this effect got in its name, which happens to be Mandela effect. So you think you have done something or you remember something a specific way. But later on, you realize, or they, they tell you, no, bro, like, it didn't happen the way you think it happened. It happened this other way, though. And all of a sudden, you're like, holy crap, like, and, and then it kind of links up with the, the parallel universe. Okay, so whatever you thought happened, did happen, but not here, somewhere else. Parallel universe. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, this is a fascinating conspiracy theory. Maybe it's not a conspiracy after all. You never know and high-energy experiments. As CERN continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, we might just find that our universe is part of a much larger, more complex cosmos than we ever imagined. So why are scientists terrified about what these theories of parallel dimensions have uncovered? Yeah. CERN's experiments with parallel dimensions have exposed us to a concept that was once thought to be just a conspiracy theory. Have yeah. you ever sworn something happened one way, only to yeah. discover your memory doesn't match the historical record? This phenomenon, known yeah. as the Mandela Effect, involves large groups of people remembering events or details differently from how they actually occur. Mandela, yeah. Named yeah. after Nelson Mandela, whom many incorrectly remembered dying in prison in the 1980s, okay, 80s, the Mandela yeah. okay. Effect has sparked curiosity and debate across the globe. One classic example of the Mandela Effect is the spelling of the popular children's book series, The Berenstain Bears. Many people vividly recall it being spelled Berenstein, with an E, 
insisting on their alternate memory despite evidence to the contrary. And, and this Mandela effect isn't like all about you, you, or one person individually. It's about like a, multiple people, like a lot of people believing it a certain way, but then they're told, nah, you're wrong, never happened, didn't happen this way. And that makes it far more fascinating and creepy uh, and far more like, okay, so a lot of people believe that happened here, but what if it's like multi-universe connecting uh, and and yeah, right? Like, it's, it's insane. The rabbit hole, it goes deep, man. It really goes deep. Another instance involves the iconic line from the movie Snow, Snow White, White and the Seven Dwarfs where the evil queen says, magic mirror on the wall, while many remember it as mirror, 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 mirror on the wall. Yeah. These discrepancies in collective memory have left many puzzled and searching for explanations. Some theorists have linked the Mandela effect to the concept of parallel universes, suggesting that these collective false memories could be remnants or glimpses from alternate realities that have somehow merged or interacted with our own. Mm. The idea says that in some parallel universe, Nelson Mandela did die in prison. The Berenstain Bears was indeed spelled with an E, and the line from Snow White was, Mirror, mirror on the wall. According to this theory, our memories of these alternate realities seep into our current universe, creating the Mandela Effect. Another intriguing example of the Mandela Effect involves the famous line from the movie Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. Many fans vividly recall Darth Vader revealing his paternity to Luke Skywalker with the phrase, Luke, I am your father. Okay, that's cool, right? Like, we're getting multiple examples, and most of the examples that we're getting are from, like, the pop culture, the movies, and all that. Uh, but, but, like, what about... Okay, the, the, yeah, I was gonna say, like... But what, the biggest one that's not from movies or books or anything is, like, the Nelson Mandela. But other than that, like, do we have m any more... And what about the deja vus, right? Like, so you ever had that deja vu where all of a sudden you're like, that happened? That just happened. How is it happening again? Have you ever had the deja vus? Let me know in the comments because the deja vus are quite baffling. I would also call the Mandela effect, but Mandela effect on an individual level because Mandela effect is like multiple people experiencing it the same way and then told now nah, it didn't happen but deja vu is more like okay it's only happening to you where you feel like that it already happened and you're kind of like in the loop right the, the deja vus are quite literally as that is impossible james from that is impossible channel would say baffling hashtag baffle gang like the video if you're baffled right now subscribe if you're brand new like communications hit the bell gps systems and even the electrical grid the 2022 incident was notable because the disturbance lasted for an extended period much longer than the usual fluctuations caused by solar activity. In response to this event, a series of investigations were launched to understand the nature of the disturbance and whether there was a direct connection to the collider's activities. Scientists from various fields, including geophysics, solar physics, and particle physics, collaborated to analyze the data from the time of the anomaly. The initial phase of the investigation focused on reviewing the operational records of the collider, Scientists examined whether there were any unusual events or experiments conducted that could explain the magnetic field disturbance. They looked into the energy levels, particle collision rates, and any new experimental setups that were in place during the third run. Parallel to the review of collider operations, experts in solar physics scrutinized solar activity data to rule out the possibility of an extraordinary solar event being the cause of the disturbance. Understanding the sun's behavior during that period was crucial, as solar flares and coronal mass ejections are known to impact the Earth's magnetic field significantly. The investigation also considered geological factors that might contribute to such an anomaly. The Earth's interior processes, such as movements in the molten core, can influence the magnetic field. Scientists explored historical data to identify any similar incidents in the past, which could provide insights into natural cycles or occurrences that might explain the 2022 event. What happened While the incident raised questions about the potential impact of human-made high-energy experiments on Earth's natural systems, it also highlighted the need for continuous monitoring and research to safeguard our planet's delicate balance. As of now, the but what if it does not safeguard the planet? What if it does the complete opposite? This is why... You should not be doing everything that you can. There are certain things that are left, n left untouched or 
you shouldn't do everything that you can. Just because you can, doesn't mean you should. The link between the collider's operations and the magnetic field disturbance remains a subject of study, with scientists committed to unraveling this mystery with rigorous scientific inquiry. There has been no answer to this mystery, and we are still left in the dark about what really happened on that day. They will never, they will never tell you. We will never find out. There's probably a lot of, like, crazy stuff happening down there that they would never want it out, understandably. Uh, and, and there's probably some dark stuff that they will never tell you about, so... Hey, CERN's groundbreaking experiments, particularly with the Large Hadron Collider, push the frontiers of what we know about the universe. But with this exploration comes a series of ethical and existential questions. What are the risks of diving into realms of physics that are still shrouded in mystery? And how do we balance our quest for knowledge with the responsibility to avoid unforeseen, unforeseen consequences? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The pursuit of understanding the fundamental particles and forces of the universe is undeniably noble. Yet, as we inch closer to replicating conditions that existed at the dawn of time, we go into uncharted territories. Theoretical physics. And for example, right, let's just say they want to know about how the universe was created and all that. And let's just say hypothetically, somehow something happened. They see some lights, uh, this and that, some beams, and all of a sudden they connect the dots, do mathematical equations, do, uh, do scientific study, and they come to the conclusion this is how it started. But then, then it's like, did it really start this way? Then you would need confirmation of that. And it would always be a mystery, I feel like that, because like no matter if you get the answer or not, I guess if you get it, if you get the answer mathematically, I guess you're gonna be satisfied to a certain degree. But it's still like the quench, uh, the, the the quench, the thirst of this knowledge. I I, I think is uh, never gonna be fulfilled. You're never gonna be satisfied with it, right? You know what I'm saying, like. Physicist Sean Carroll expresses this sentiment well, emphasizing the importance of approaching these scientific endeavors with both curiosity and caution. He suggests that while the pursuit of understanding quantum mechanics and other complex phenomena is crucial, the scientific community must also be mindful of the potential implications of their discoveries. Mm. Carroll, among other experts, often discusses the need for a balanced approach to scientific discovery. The excitement of potentially uncovering new particles, forces, or even dimensions is tempered by the responsibility to consider the broader impact of these findings. For instance, the speculation around CERN's experiments potentially affecting the Earth's magnetic field or opening gates yeah, to parallel uh, dimensions, yeah. while largely theoretical. I will link you a video in a bit. Yeah, you know what, that, that, yeah, we're getting into that territory as well of, like, different dimensions opening and seeing the un, un, unknown and their implications, what if, whatever, whatever comes out of it, you never know if it's good or bad, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know what, when we talk about, like, dimensions opening and, and, like, creatures coming out of it, interdimensional beings, whatever, you know, there was a, uh, 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 it's not coming up in my, in my mind, Mr. Bellin made a video on it, it's on that, on that, it's not coming up in my mind. Uh, 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 you know what, I'll play if I remember, I'll bring it up. Show the need for rigorous safety and ethical standards in scientific research. The conversation around the ethical implications of CERN's work also extends to the use of vast resources, both in terms of funding and intellectual capital. With significant investments directed towards understanding the universe, questions arise about prioritizing research that addresses immediate global Skinwalker Ranch. Yeah, Skinwalker Ranch. Uh, you, if you ever heard the story of Skinwalker Ranch, you heard that, you know, people that were living there and, and a billionaire later on done studies with actual scientists and all of them were baffled because they were seeing things because there was a, initially there was like a family that experienced a lot of like creatures there, lights in the sky portal opening when the person that was living uh, saw it with uh try to see it with his binoculars saw like a like a portal opening uh, a beam coming out of it right their dog apparently passed away uh it, they were messing around with their cattle their livestock and the cows and all that and then an actual billionaire bought this is this is a real story by the way like there's documents on it they have done actual studies real scientists have done studies on it so this is not like a fan fantastical or fantasy story like some 
happen there at the Skinwalker Ranch uh, with like interdimensional beings, aliens, whatever you want to call it, portals opening. It, it, it's a very, very like interesting story to say the least. I would definitely recommend watching uh, Mr. Bell and videos on it for sure, 100%. Challenges. However, as Carol and others would argue, the pursuit of fundamental science often leads to unforeseen benefits that can address broader societal issues. But have previous experiments done at CERN led to benefits in our daily lives? While CERN is primarily known for its exploration of the universe at the smallest scales, its contributions extend far beyond the world of particle physics. The research conducted at this prestigious institution has led to practical applications that touch various aspects of our daily lives, particularly in medicine and technology. One of the most notable examples of CERN's broader impact is in the field of medical imaging. Techniques developed from particle detection technologies used in experiments like those at the Collider have been adapted for medical use. For instance, Positron emission tomography scans, a staple in modern medical diagnostics, have benefited from advancements in particle detection technologies pioneered at CERN. These scans, which help doctors identify cancer and monitor heart and brain functions, are a direct testament to how high-energy physics research can contribute to life-saving medical technologies. Uh, now, if we're gonna go this route, well, I got news for you. You know, there's obviously where we're gonna keep it conspiratorial here. Uh, because officially they say the, the the cure for cancer hasn't been found but there's a lot of people uh, that come out say that they have dr. Sebi a uh, prime example uh, if you ever heard that story if you ever heard about it I only heard the story never really personally never dug deeper into it it's just that I was attending an acting class and there there was a guy a cool guy and he was talking about using his diet and then he was like you know dr sebi ever heard that this literally happened to me okay i was like okay who it's like he found the cure to cancer and then he was killed so i was like oh, shit. i'm gonna look into it never really look into it and now it's like coming up to me basically the point here is that some believe that they already a lot of people believe that they already found the cure to cancer and the reason being is simply pharmaceutical the big pharma they we all know they know we know they know that we know it they know it everybody knows it that they are not there to fix your problem they're not there to give you cure they're only there to they're not there to solve your problem they're never gonna give you cure they're just gonna make sure they get to extend it a little bit right you know what like give you a painkiller but not the cure uh because they're gonna lose money man like what if like you have got cancer you were given this and all of a sudden your cancer is gone your life is good not no money in that you know it's no money in that we gotta get we gotta hook you up on treatments we're gonna get you through the treatments and all that and, and uh they're gonna make money that way they're gonna make a lot more money that way so they're not there the money is not in the dead it's not in the young it's in the old people and sick people moreover cern's research has paved the way for advancements in radiation therapy for cancer treatment the development of more precise and effective forms of radiotherapy, such as proton beam therapy, owes much to the understanding and technologies derived from particle acceleration and manipulation, areas where CERN leads the world. This form of treatment allows for targeting tumors with minimal damage to surrounding healthy tissues, a significant advancement in oncological care. Beyond medicine, CERN's contributions to technology are equally impressive. Perhaps the most groundbreaking is the creation of the World Wide Web. Invented in 1989 by Sir Tim Berners-Lee, a British scientist at CERN, the web was initially conceived as a tool to facilitate information sharing among physicists worldwide. Today, it is extremely important to the global information society, transforming how we communicate, work, and access knowledge. This innovation, born out of a need to share scientific data, exemplifies the unforeseen benefits stemming from pure research. Mm. But that's not all. CERN's influence also extends to advancements in computing and data processing. The need to analyze vast amounts of data generated by particle collisions has led to significant developments in distributed computing, notably the worldwide Large Hadron Collider computing grid. This network, 
one of the most extensive computing grids globally, is a model for large-scale scientific collaborations and has applications in areas ranging from climate research to bioinformatics. Another significant discovery at CERN, apart from the Higgs boson, is the observation of the pentaquark particle by the LHCb experiment in 2015. Pentaquarks are exotic forms of matter, consisting of four quarks and one antiquark bound together, unlike the more familiar protons and neutrons made of three quarks. This discovery opened new avenues in understanding the strong force that binds subatomic particles together. This helped further enrich the field of particle physics. The impact of CERN's work goes well beyond theoretical physics and the quest to understand the universe's fundamental forces and particles. Through practical applications in medicine and technology, CERN demonstrates the tangible benefits of investing in fundamental science. These advancements, often unexpected, highlight the broader... Uh, I would like to call Cap on that one, first of all. Show us the proof! Give us the proof! We demand the proof! And once we have the proof, then we'll believe it. ...value of curiosity-driven research, reinforcing the importance of supporting scientific endeavors that push the boundaries of human knowledge. CERN and the Large Hadron Collider stand at the crossroads of awe-inspiring discoveries and mysteries. From the groundbreaking detection of the Higgs boson to the strange nature of dark matter. Guys, this is that video that I was talking about. Check this video out. It's very, very interesting because one personnel comes out and talks about dimension openings and interdimensional beings coming out of it because of this thing called CERN. It's very, very good video. Check it out and I'll see you right there.